It's an unlikely setting for a power station, but this farm near Warpole will soon be home to Australia's first pump hydroelectricity generator. It's the brainchild of former mining and energy engineer Colin Stonehouse. And then if the power line from Albany to Walpole fails, which unfortunately happens from time to time, it's a very challenging environment that it's in, then we will immediately take up um, the, the supply to the Walpole town. The electricity generation relies on dam water, gravity and turbines. When Warpole suffers a power outage, big solar-powered batteries provide instantaneous backup and trigger water stored in a dam up on a hill released down a pipeline into another dam at the bottom, turning turbines as it goes. An array of floating solar panels recharge the batteries, which provide the power to pump the water back up the hill, ready for the next power blackout. For decades, the people of Warpole have put up with frequent power failures. Then another one from on the same day, 1.15 p.m. to 4.45 p.m. the next day. Jennifer Wilcox has kept track of the outages for the last 20 years. Certainly in excess of 12 hours, can be up to 18. We have had 23 hours. Tourists will rock up with a plastic card in their pocket, expecting to buy pies, cakes, fuel, and the FPOS doesn't work, nothing works, no power. Colin Stonehouse's plan has already made him a local celebrity. We're very excited by it. Um, we really hope it's the solution for Walpole. The dams will store enough water to power the town for days. Theoretically, from full to empty, it could run the entire Walpole town site for roughly 60 hours. People choose to live in Walpole because of its beautiful surroundings and, as the locals say, how's the serenity? But when the power cuts out, so does the serenity when residents start up an essential household item. It's almost compulsory to have a generator in Walpole. I think every second house has got their own generator because you could be off for up to 20 hours. Colin Stonehouse has more than the locals on site. He's convinced the state energy minister his project will work and could solve the power problems of other isolated communities. It's the first micro uh, pumped hydro in Western Australia. It's one of the first in the world, in fact, and it's unique because it's using off-the-shelf technology rather than uh, specialised equipment. Earthworks are expected to begin early next year, with renewable energy flowing to Warpole by 2023. Mark Bennett, ABC News, Warpole.